Right. No idea what I'll look like in a bathing suit. I always seen in a bathing suit when I go somewhere where no one knows. <laughs> well, I'll hopefully see you in a bathing suit on the Cape at some point. In the That's true. Years. A bathing suit with a t-shirt that says Wellfleet or Mashpee. What's right. up with this type? Did someone remember that I didn't bring my my glasses? Like, this is like baby type. Wait, okay. It's I haven't huge. even looked yet. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. Right, Sonia, you ready? They only do that for you? Where is what is it? Oh, oh that. Yeah, you got it. Oh, it's John. Oh, God. It looks like what? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> All right, listen, you ready? I got too excited. Should we wait a minute or no, what? We no, we're at seven thirty. Yo, it's time to live. Are we ready? Yeah, I heard there were a lot of delays. Big delays on the train. Yes. I left it in my office. I have to go run again. Uh, please join us in a salute to the flag. And at the end of um, that, we will ask for a moment of silence for retired firefighter John Levecki who passed away on Saturday, May 12th. He served on the fire department for 34 years, from 1959 to 1993. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And a moment of silence for retired firefighter John Levecki. Thank you very much. <coughs> Pursuant to Section 5, Chapter 231, Public Laws 1975, this is to state for the record that adequate notice of this meeting has been provided to the public by posting and maintaining the annual meetings, annual notice of regular meetings on the bulletin board of the municipal building by mailing the annual notice of regular meetings for 2018 to the news record and Star Ledger in December 2017, and by filing said notice in the office of the township clerk. Ms. Adams? Yeah, here. Mr. Davis? Here. Mr. Lembrick? Mr. McGeehee? Here. Mayor DeLuca? Here. Whereas Chapter 231, Public Laws 1975, commonly known as the Open Public Meetings Act, requires that all meetings of public bodies be open to the public. And whereas Section 7 provides that the governing body has a discretion to permit, prohibit, or regulate the act of participation of the public at any meeting, and whereas desire the governing body to comply with the provision of this act, St. Thomas conducts its business in an orderly and expeditious manner, now therefore be resolved by the Township Committee, Township Maplewood, those hereby prohibit except to set forth in the formal agenda, act of participation and deliberations of the governing body by the public, and except as otherwise prescribed by law, does limit the public to the observation of the actions and discussions of the governing body at all of its regular and special meetings. So moved. Second. Ms. Adams. Yes. Mr. Daffis. Yes. Mr. McGeehee. Yes. Mayor DeLuca. Yes, thank you. And good evening, everyone. Welcome to the May 15th, 2018 meeting of the Maplewood Township Committee. I'm going to go through the agenda real quick. Uh, we have a boards and committee appointments. We have four appointments to our seniors advisory committee after that we'll have our first public comment session then we will do a resolution a resolution to read the maplewood village special improvement district 2018 budget by title after that we'll have a hearing on that budget then we have a resolution to read the springfield avenue partnership uh, sid the special improvement district 2018 budget by title we'll have a hearing on that we have uh, three ordinances on final passage. The first uh, will allow senior citizens and owner-occupied residential dwellings to have up to two boarders reside in their premises. The second will add driveway aprons to the list of areas to be maintained by abutting property owners. And the third is the uh, certificate of occupancy guarantee uh, when people make improvements to their properties. We then have introduction of one ordinance, and that will be to change the table of organization at the police department to add a deputy chief of police, reduce the number of lieutenants from five to four. 
After that, we'll have a discussion of three items. The first, uh, allowing homeowners to house one refugee family as boarders. Two, to uh, change the outdoor cafes to include patio dining spaces. And three, a discussion of marketing underutilized parking in Maplewood Village. We have 12 items on our consent agenda. We are going to be approving um, details of a general improvement bond for $17,130,000. Also, uh, let's see, this is, we're doing two, two resolutions on that. Um, that's 17 million one hundred thirty. I should just say, this is not anything, um, well, this is a, taking existing bonds that we have and putting it together and then adding the amount that we've uh, included for this year's capital. And Mr. Manning can talk a little bit more about that when we get to it, if anyone has any questions. We have, uh, we'll be approving the budgets of the um, Special Improvement District for Maplewood Village and the uh, assessments for bo both Maplewood Village and Springfield Avenue will be approving bills and claims. Uh, we'll be passing a temporary 2018 budget. We have a resolution authorizing the train station mural project. We have a contract for professional services for the retiming of lights on Springfield Avenue. We have an agreement on the redevelopment of certain properties. This is for affordable assisted living and redevelopment area two, which is off of Boyden Avenue. We will appoint Sonia Alves Viveros as our public agency compliant officer for 2018 and we'll approve the open and closed minutes, open minutes of May 1st and 7th, closed minutes of April 17th and 1st. We'll then have our second public comment, reports from departments, reports from elected officials, and then we will adjourn. So our first order of business is to consider an appointment to the Com Seniors Advisory Committee, and I'm going to ask Mr. Daffis to introduce and uh, talk about these uh, appointments. Thank you, Mayor. Um, our recent volunteer effort, uh, our volunteer fair in March in Maplewood was a huge success. A lot of people came to uh, sign up to get involved, and um, of all kinds, for folks uh, for all kinds of committees. Uh, it just shows the level of civic engagement in this community. It's absolutely tremendous and something that we uh, all should be proud of. I know I was one of those folks before I was fortunate enough to be able to sit in the seat where I am now. Uh, so I really, really, um, this evening we have four new uh, appointees, uh, proposed appointees of the Seniors Advisory Committee. Um, these four folks uh, do not have an existing conflict with another committee, uh, and I've worked with at least two of them already, and, and I can't speak uh, more highly about how excited we are to have, especially Connie, who, who's here with us tonight, Constance Cosgrove, um, to, to just add new life to our senior advisory committee. We need new voices, we need folks to be active, uh, and we need to just breathe new life into uh, our committee. Uh, it also shows that senior issues are important in our town. We focus often on, um, on the new people moving into town uh, and how our town is changing. All of that is true, of course, uh, but we need to focus on our aging population. The folks like Connie Cosgrove, who's been here for decades, who have built this community for the rest of us to uh, enjoy the benefits of. And, um, and so I'm really pleased to, uh, to recommend Marilyn Schnars, who is here with us, uh, Claudine Baptiste, Bill Maloney, and Constance Cog Cosgrove uh, to be appointed to the Seniors Advisory Committee. We want to have anyone come up? Anyone who would like to come up? Connie, would you like to come up? Marilyn, would you like to come up? <laughs> How about you tell us a little bit about yourselves and why you're interested? Well, uh, I was recruited, I'll put it that way. Um, I'm still uh, trying to uh, ascertain exactly what the whole mandate of the senior program is. Uh, having moved here in my 20s, um, I have aged in place over on Union Avenue. 
Um, and uh, I must, I hope you're going to do something about infrastructure with that street. Um, at any rate, we, um, it, it's, if we're going to stay here, we just need some additional, you know, fortunately, I still can drive, I still walk, I still do things, but uh, there are lots of people who don't have that freedom and that accessibility. So at this point, all I can say is I think I have been involved uh, from soup to nuts with things in town. So if I don't know what's going on, we're in trouble. So. <laughs> So after 50 years, uh, this is just one more area from pool committee, from township committee, from recreation, from high school, middle school, junior high school, because my oldest was a junior high school, all the way down to uh, kindergarten at Clinton. So I think I, I think I know Maplewood pretty well. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm looking forward to this. First of all, I was born in South Orange, so I've been living here the first 50 years in South Orange and the last few years in <laughs> Maplewood. I like Connie, you know, we, I enjoy what I do. I enjoy the town. I enjoy what we have here. Uh, the Garden Club, of course, is one of our favorites that we do here, that I am part of it. And, of course, Duran Head and, and uh, it just makes me feel good to be. People call up, because I am right now the president of the senior group, they call up and they say they have a mother that's living with them and they would like to have her come. And we're glad, we're glad. We want to know how many seniors we have in town and we want, to be part, we want them to be part of what we like. I was, of course, you know, as I grew up, when, as Connie said, I went all through the school system here. And of course, I'm proud of the town. I love living here. I don't want to go anywhere yet, not yet. I still drive and I do everything I hope to do, and so that makes me happy, and I'm glad to be on this committee. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want to move those appointments? Uh, yes, Mayor. I move to have Marilyn Schnarza and Constance Cosgrove appointed to the Seniors Advisory Committee. And what do you want to do with Claudine Baptiste and Bill Maloney? Have we heard from Ms. Fritzen? Yeah. No. So we have to wait until the next So we'll just table it to uh, okay. the next meeting. Is there a second on the? Second. second. Who's called the roll? Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Daffis? Yes. Mr. Lembrick? Yes. Mr. McGeehee? Yes. Mayor DeLuca? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank Congratulations. You very much. Congratulations. <laughs> I failed to let people know that today is the last day that you can register to vote in order to vote in the June 5th primary election. And the township clerk's office will be open until 9 p.m. for voter registration. So anyone out there who may want to register in order to vote in the June 5th primary election, you can come into town hall this evening till 9 p.m. to register to vote. And then Mr. Daffis, could you explain why this big 30 is uh, parked <laughs> over? Ms. Fritzen. Ms. <clears throat> Liz is 30 years old today. Right, right. On behalf of the Township Committee, we all wanted to honor Ms. Fritzen and her incredible 30-year service, uh, Maplewood Township Committee. And uh, that's what this balloon is about. Thank you. 30, 30 years. years. <laughs> Thank you all so much because I've never even seen a balloon this big before. <laughs> so now we're going to have our first public comment session. If there's anyone who would like to address the township committee, please come up and give us your name and your address. Seeing no one will close the public comment. There's another one later on. We will now move into resolution 109-18. Hey, Mayor, uh, this will be the first uh, of the hearings we're going to have tonight on the special improvement districts. So this one will be uh, resolution 109 is a resolution 
to read the Maplewood Village SID year 2018 budget by title. We need a motion. So moved. Second. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Dathis? Yes. Mr. Lembrick? Yes. Mr. McGeehee? Yes. Mayor DeLuca? Yes. If we don't read it by title, we have to read the whole budget. So that's why we read it by title. So now that we've read the resolution by title, we are now going to open the hearing for the Maplewood Village Special Improvement District year 2018 budget. Is there anyone who would like to speak on that budget? Mayor, we have uh, copies of the budget here for the public. Uh, if anybody like one tonight? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, seeing no one, we will close the hearing. And um, we need a motion to approve the 2018 budget. Mr. Mayor, I move that we approve the 2018 Village Alliance budget. Second. Let's call the roll. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Daffis? Yes. Mr. Lembrick? Yes. Mr. McGeehee? Yes. Mayor DeLuca? Yes, thank you. We have item number eight. Uh, along the same lines, Mayor, this is to read the budget by title for the Springfield Avenue Partnership. It's a resolution to read the Springfield Avenue Partnership as SID year 2018, budget by title. So moved. Second. Let's call the roll on the budget by title. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Daffis? Yes. Mr. Lembrick? Yes. Mr. McGeehee? Yes. Mayor DeLuca? Yes. Is there anyone who would like to speak on the 2018 budget for the Springfield Avenue Partnership Special Improvement District? Again, Mayor, we have copies of the budget information right here if anybody would like to uh, have one this evening. Okay, thanks. Seeing no one, we will close the hearing. Can we get a motion to approve the 2018 Special Improvement District uh, budget for the Springfield Avenue Partnership? Mr. Mayor, I'd like to move the 2018 Special Improvement District uh, budget for Springfield Avenue. Second. Roll the roll. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Daffis? Yes. Mr. Lembrick? Yes. Mr. McGeehee? Yes. Mayor DeLuca? Yes. Thank you very much. We have an ordinance on final passage. Yes, Mayor. Item number nine, ordinance number 2898-18 is an ordinance to amend Chapter 271 of the Code of the Township of Maplewood entitled Zoning and Development Regulations. This ordinance will allow senior citizens in owner-occupied residential dwellings to have up to two boarders reside in their premises. This ordinance has been published, copies posted on the bulletin board in the municipal building and copies made available to the general public in accordance with the law. Is there anyone who would like to speak on this ordinance which will allow senior citizens and owner-occupied residential dwellings to have up to two boarders reside, reside in their premises? We should state that the state law allows a senior to have one border and what we're doing is allowing two borders and it is either you could have two separate individuals and they each have to have a bedroom or you could have a couple as a border which would count as two and they can they can share a bedroom if they wish uh, so this this is a this is an upgrade of what the state allows and this is a way to uh, deal with the uh, housing affordability seniors being able to take in borders. Seeing no one on the public hearing, we'll close the public hearing. Mr. Desiderio. Mayor, this matter was referred to the planning board pursuant to statute. Upon review, the planning board unanimously passed a resolution with the finding that the ordinance is consistent with the master plan. The board is in support of the ordinance. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? For the roll. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Daffis? Yes. Mr. Lambert? Yes. Mr. McGeehee? Yes. Mayor DeLuca? Yes, thank you. And item 10? Item 10, uh, ordinance on final passage. Ordinance number 2906-18 is an ordinance to amend chapter 239 of the Code of the Township of Maplewood entitled Streets and Sidewalks. This ordinance will add driveway aprons to the list of areas to being maintained by abutting property owners. This ordinance has been published, copies posted on the bulletin board in the municipal building, and copies made available to the general public in accordance with the law. Is there anyone who wants to speak on this ordinance, which requires the property owner 
to be responsible for the driveway apron, just like they're responsible now for the sidewalk. And just, if I may add that for clarification, um, that was always the responsibility. It just wasn't clearly defined in the ordinance. So this is more of a clarification than an additional requirement or obligation on the property owner's part. Okay, we'll close the public hearing. Uh, can we get a motion? Mr. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I move this ordinance be adopted as a whole and the clerk be directed to publish the same as a past ordinance in the Maplewood South Orange News Record according to law. Second. Any discussion? Who's called the roll? Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Daffis? Yes. Mr. Lembrick? Yes. Mr. McGeehee? Yes. Mayor DeLuca? Yes, thank you. I have number 11. Also on final, Mayor, item 11, ordinance number 2907-18 is an ordinance to establish requirement for performance and maintenance guarantees for developers within the Township of Maplewood and to establish a temporary certificate of occupancy guarantee within the Township of Maplewood. Joanne, this, I'm sorry, this ordinance has been published, copies posted on the bulletin board in the municipal building and copies made available to the general public in accordance with the law. Is there anyone who'd like to speak on this ordinance? Again, this requires developers to post bonds for performance and maintenance. Seeing no one, we will close the public hearing. Mr. Daffis, can we get a motion? Certainly, Mayor. I move this ordinance be adopted as a whole and the clerk be directed to publish the same as a past ordinance in the Maplewood South Orange News Record according to law. Second. Any discussion? I just want to point out also on this one, the state uh, apparently changed the law in this regard, just public certification. They um, where developers were uh, required to do a performance bond and maintenance bonds and then they removed that requirement for some reason and as we discussed the code committee you don't want that responsibility shifted to the municipality so we have to pass this in order to have them keep requ being required to do so thank you please call the roll Ms. Adams yes Mr. Daffis yes Mr. Lembrick yes Mr. McGeehee yes Mayor DeLuca yes thank you we have an introduction of a new ordinance. This is Mayor M12 2908 18. It's an ordinance to amend Chapter 6 of the Code of the Township of Maplewood entitled Administration of Government. This ordinance will add a Deputy Chief of Police and reduce the number of lieutenants from five to four in the table of organization for the Maplewood Police Department. Uh, Mr. Lemberg, can we get a motion? Yes, Mayor. I move the passage of this ordinance on first reading. It's publication according to law in the Maplewood South Orange News Record and a hearing to be held on June 6th, 2018. Second. Mr. Lindbergh, would you like to say anything about this? I would. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, this is part of our, our ongoing efforts uh, working with, with Chief Duvall and his uh, leadership team to, uh, to make some, some needed reforms in our police department. Uh, and we really recognize, both as a public safety committee and a township committee, that improving the command structure of the Maplewood Police Department is a top priority. Development of better training, professional standards, and traffic enforcement are going to require vision and execution by experienced officers. Creating this deputy chief position and more clearly delineating the responsibilities of our two captains is going to help to accomplish all of these goals. Uh, the deputy chief uh, is also likely going to serve as the department's liaison to the newly formed community board on police. Uh, so that will be a good way uh, to make sure that the community's concerns uh, and suggestions are heard uh, by a top level commander uh, and, uh, and can be addressed by the highest levels of our police department. Uh, we want to give Chief Duvall uh, and the whole Maplewood Police Department, the resources they need as they continue to make the necessary reforms uh, to better serve all of our community. Uh, so I am in support uh, of this ordinance to add a Deputy Chief of Police. Anyone else have anything else to say? Hold the roll. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Daffis? Yes. Mr. Lembrick? Yes. Mr. McGeehee? Yes. Mayor DeLuca? Yes, thank you. Okay, we're going to go into our first discussion item. This is amending our zoning code to allow homeowners to house one refugee family as a boarder. Uh, Mr. Daffis. Yes, thank you, Mayor. Um, this came up uh, in code enforcement. 
couple weeks ago. Uh, as this body recalls last year, uh, the body, the governing body was in favor of, uh, as part of its welcoming status, uh, allowing um, uh, residential single family um, or two family owners in Maplewood to house a refugee family. Uh, participating uh, with the United Nations High Commissioner of Refugee Families. Um, and I believe that that was a temporary program that was set to expire next month. Um, so uh, continuing on with the need to offer uh, shelter to refugee families, and we do have a couple families in Maplewood who are interested in doing so, and in continuation of our welcoming status in our great community, we want to expand what we already allow folks to do, which is to bring in a uh, one roomer or one boarder. The recommendation is that uh, a homeowner may house one refugee family who is participating with the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugee Families, provided that the homeowner notifies our bill billing department of this annually. Uh, and so long as the refugee family has uh, met all the requirements uh, as per the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugee Families. Um, and so that's, uh, you know, that's our recommendation. And uh, I, I totally support this. I, I think it's in the spirit of who we are in Maplewood. And um, of course, I need to mention here that uh, all fire safety regulations and housing regulations uh, still apply uh, in this instance as well. So um, we have any of my colleagues want to jump in here and discuss or shed any light? I agree with you. Thank you. I, I agree with you. And I think uh, this is uh, this is something that I'm I'm sort of surprised that we didn't come up with last year, but right. <laughs> kudos to you and the, uh, the folks who brought this forward and, uh, and especially uh, gratitude in advance to any Maplewood families who are going to uh, open up their homes and welcome uh, people who, who need that, uh, refugees who, who need shelter and, uh, and who are restarting their lives in the United States. Uh, I think this is this is really great, and I actually think there there will be families who take advantage of this, and this is going to continue to contribute uh, to our community. Thank you. Mr. So Dizdar, you have the language, right? I have, I do, but I have a question. <clears throat> and my question is, and it may be, it may be, so so the, the, the definition of refugee family uh, is, is within the United Nations High Commission? Yes. Yes. So we don't need any further definition. And is there a document that they would otherwise produce to, um, the, to the to the building department? I mean, that's a procedural issue, but I'm just asking. I think they need to certify that they are quote unquote a refugee family as per the United Nations High Commissioner okay. uh, certification. So the building department, when these people register, will ask for that certification. I think that's the plan. Yes. Okay. Then that's fine. Then I'll. This will have to go to the uh, planning board. So I'll put it on for the next meeting. For introduction. For introduction. And then it'll go. And then we'll get it to them for the. We talked about the twelfth or thirteenth, yes. whenever it is. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks, so everyone's okay with that. We're going to move forward Absolutely. on that. Okay. Yes. yes right. Thank you. And next, we have the patio dining spaces. Yes, Mayor. Um, So, so this came to our attention again in uh, code enforcement via the uh, Springfield Avenue partnership. Uh, and basically what we want to do here, we already have outdoor cafes. Uh, uh, an outdoor cafe is an eating establishment. Um, Namely, it's the sidewalk immediately in front of any restaurant, cafe, or place of business where food is being served. Um, a patio dining space is different than an out outdoor cafe. This would be um, a publicly paved parking lot, uh, an outdoor space to be used for dining, musical performances, or other artistic events. Um, it would be sponsored by either the Springfield Avenue Partnership or the Village Alliance. Um, and it would be something that would be limited to once per week. 
Uh, and the idea here is to have an open space uh, where patrons can come and, and bring their own food and drink. Uh, or in some instances, either Improvement District can um, furnish food trucks. And in each instance, the uh, Special Improvement District will be responsible for any public nuisance issues related to such activity. Uh, I'd like to add here um, regarding the consumption of alcoholic beverages in a patio dining space. Patrons uh, would be allowed to consume only beer or wine, which would be brought to the premises uh, by the patrons uh, who also are consuming food um, on the premises. So uh, when this came up at the summit, the township committee members were in favor. I assume everyone's still in favor of moving yeah, forward. Yes. This is okay. So what I would suggest is that we, uh, Mr. Desiderio, we sit down and work out the details I'm, of the I'm a little, I'm a, I, and, I, and I understand the concept, but I'm a little confused as to why we would put this with outdoor cafes. It doesn't seem to me it has anything to do with the licensing of outdoor cafes. Well, because the requirements about the licensing, uh, the requirements of an outdoor cafe, if you have to remove the tables, you can only have beer and wine at those things. So, but can't, I, I was just suggesting that maybe since it's the, it's it's only the 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 SIPs who can do this, correct? Couldn't they just have an application to the township with those requirements? Uh, it's a public lot, and we would have to vote on every time, every week. We'd have to approve. Um, alcohol in a public lot. Well, are you, okay. So what you're saying is that they're going to be able to do it without your approval. Right. We're giving them blanket approval to do it once a week. In an, in your, I see your hesitation, and I understand it. So what happens if you have the lot used for something else? Right. No, no, no. They would they would have that scheduled, but we wouldn't have to come back here. So they would schedule it with the clerk's office. It would be an event application form, but it wouldn't have to come back to for the approval of the alcohol in a public space. This okay. would be the blanket. If that's where you want it, I'll put it there. And the outdoor cafe that we have in our code right now, as defined, uh, it says said outdoor area shall be considered as part of the building structure, building structure meaning the eating establishment. So um, this is definitely different in that regard. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't need to be connected to an existing restaurant or cafe. Um, it's an outdoor dining space. Yeah, and there's no problem with writing, taking it and not tying it to this ordinance. It just needs to be somewhere that we allow well, them I understand, to do that. I think concept-wise, I, I mean, my suggestion is that we just, we just not put it with this ordinance. Okay. Just make it a separate ordinance and give it, a, and it'll get its own fine. code section. And maybe it can go in, okay, that's fine. We can, whatever it is, we'll sit down before the next meeting and, right, and so I'll work out. I'll, I'll give you something in draft. Okay. 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 So so this would, would, would you want this as an, as an ordinance or, or are you suggesting it would be better to do it as a resolution that we renew annually? Well, I, I, no, if we're going to do it, if you're going to do it, let's do it as an ordinance. Okay. I, I was suggesting that, I guess, originally, but I think it probably, as long as it's a separate, I, I just don't think it goes with outdoor cafes. I okay. think it, I think it ah, should be separate. segregated. That's what okay. I'm, okay. Thank you. So I will do it. Okay, uh, item number three, marketing underutilized parking in the village area. Mr. McGee. Yes, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, obviously, we're heading into the summer months, and so we'll see a lot of activity in, in the village as well as on Springfield Avenue. Uh, one thing that has been communicated by our residents is the quote unquote lack of parking in the village area. Um, but that absolutely is not the case. Uh, what has happened is that our residents are cognizant of the ample amount of parking on Dunnell Road in the evening time and weekends, simply under the other side of the trestle. So uh, I've already initially on my social media communicated clearly. We talked about it at the uh, public safety meeting, the ample amount of parking that's available uh, for our residents, especially coming from the east side of town, to park before you enter the village. Um, I understand that the Maple Village Alliance is a parking commission and we're doing some work as well, but I think the time has come that we raise the awareness to uh, our town here through our own ability, socially, through uh, newsletters, whatever the case may be, to let people know there is parking. I've watched it single-handedly coming off the train, people driving around Rickleton Square, and I've walked to the library and back, dropped a book off, and they're still driving around in circles. So it's just really the awareness that you have the ability to park just, uh, you know, one minute away. Um, and I just hope that we all can work diligently to get this message out. I have a report um, 
on several parking initiatives that we're working on as part of the uh, parking committee of the Maplewood Village Alliance. And I thank you, Mr. Deputy Mayor McGee, for bringing this up. Um, so yes, there is a parking problem in the village, certainly during peak hours. Uh, certainly on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday night when everybody's out to the restaurant and we get a lot of traffic from other towns because we're an attractive town and people want to come here and we have great restaurants. Um, but we also do have a lot of parking that is absolutely underutilized. And there are reasons for that. There's tons of parking after 6.30 p.m. on any given night, even on Friday, Saturday, uh, on, along Donnell Road. But Donnell Road is not well lit. And certainly, uh, it's not as inviting for folks. And certainly for those who are not Maplewoodians and not familiar with our downtown, they don't know that it's there. And they don't know how to get there. If they park there, how do they get to the village to go to the restaurant? So we have certain efforts that we have undertaken, short-term and longer-term initiatives. And I'd like to tell the public uh, about them this evening. So in terms of short-term efforts, uh, you're familiar with the banner that says open, that's underneath, that is on top of the uh, Donnell underpass, mm -hmm. Donnell underpass. That is being replaced, I think, next week with a brand new banner uh, that I think you're all gonna love. It's, uh, it says shop, dine, it has an arrow, it uses the colors of the Maple Village Alliance, so there's a visual connection to the downtown. Um, and it kind of directs people to go through the tunnel and up the stairs to the other side. Uh, and I think you're really going to be pleased with that. Uh, we're hoping to have that up. It's in production right now. We're hoping to have it up certainly by mid-May. And I think it's mid-May already. So we're, we're almost there. Uh, <laughs> also, a couple days ago, uh, we have a new banner ad that does essentially the same thing uh, that is running um, on the Village Green. So every time in your social media, when you read an article of Village Green, if you go into the Village Green website, you'll see a banner at the very top, very prominently, that also does the same thing. It, it tells folks that you can get easy and free parking uh, in Maplewood Village, especially along Donnell Road. Um, we have an existing map of all the parking that's available. Underutilized parking is not only along Donnell Road, but also in other areas such as the middle school, um, uh, after 6.30 at night, that's another desirable area, along Baker when there aren't events at the library. Um, that map, our merchants, our restaurant tours already have, and we're, we, we recently sent out a revised version of that, and we're doing whatever we can to um, really publicize that map on the uh, Maplewood Village Alliance website. Uh, the mayor himself can attest to the fact that he, as he does with everything else in town, he walked up and down Denal to identify major lights that were out recently and um, contacted PSE and G uh, to get those lights, lights working again so that area becomes more desirable. And the hope is uh, that we're also going to uh, create banners that will go up along Denal that again, are visually connected to the Maplewood Village Alliance logo. And that's gonna happen very shortly this summer. Um, longer term initiatives include um, a huge marketing plan that covers sort of all of this stuff. Uh, and I know that our awesome executive director, Deb Yohannan, uh, is uh, talking to two marketing agencies already who are interested in helping us out in this regard. Uh, possibly even doing the work pro bono. One of them, uh, we're bidding the work out, if not, um, and they're creating a brief about this. And I'd like to also talk about, um, we recently connected with a traffic management consultant. And this is a real, real deal. This is someone who knows about valet parking, about parking garages, and how, how traffic moves, what is the behavior uh, of folks using their cars during peak hours. And uh, this gentleman was able to come here and visit all of our parking areas in the village. Um, and we're going to be engaging his company soon to um, 
do a, a traffic management study. He's, got, he's gonna have people come in during peak hours on a Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night and see where the traffic is going and where people are trying to park and, and come back to us with actual data about where our parking is not sufficient, where it is, and how we can better manage and direct traffic because 80% of this is, is directing people to where the parking is uh, and not that we don't have enough parking. So those are some of the things that we're working on. And I thank you for bringing this up so that we can tell the public and hopefully all five of you out there are listening. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Mr. Daphnis, appreciate it. So I guess, you know, the most important thing is that our merchants, you know, uh, join this campaign because that's the major touch point for those who come in. They need to actually yes. physically and verbally hand off literature and communicate, park, dine, and shop. Yes, thank you. Mr. Mayor, did you want to add anything? Because you're on the parking committee and you've been out there walking. No, I think you, I think you covered it. I think, I'm not sure when we're going to meet again, but I think we're at the point of making some decisions and moving things forward, so. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Okay. We got a motion on the consent agenda. Mr. Mayor, I'd like to move adoption of items 1 through 12 on the consent agenda. Second. Any questions or anything? Please call the roll. Mr. Adams? Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. Mr. Lembrick? Yes. Mr. McGeehee? Yes. Mayor DeLuca? Yes, thank you. We're at our second public comment period. Is there anyone who would like to address the Township Committee? Seeing no one uh, come up, we will close the second public comment period. Uh, we have reports from departments. Mr. Manning? Yes, Mr. and guess what time of the year it is again? Oh, what? 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 It's farmer's market time. There's no one. This is your last farmer's market report. <laughs> this is my last farmer's market report. But yes, uh, the first Monday in June, our farmer's market will start up again on Springfield Avenue, and we have some. Uh, thoughts about some new programming that will go on there for entertainment while people are there. Um, and that is the farmer's market. And yes, tonight is my last meeting as township business administrator. And I leave uh, my job and responsibilities uh, in the hands of Sonia Vivera, who I'm sure will do a great job for you. But I wanted to thank you and all the other members of the township committee's uh, past that uh, I worked for, for the great opportunity to work in this town, town that I live in, and to the residents of this town who have been very supportive. And that's it, thank you. That's it, he says it's so. Uh, actually, I have a question for Mr. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, and and, and, I, and it may be that this has been delayed and we may want to talk about this at the next meeting, in which case it'll be Mr. Veros. Yes. Um, but the, the Film Trust, uh, yes, the, with uh, with the Board of Education in South Orange. That doesn't mean we should discuss tonight, or no. We're actually uh, there was a meeting that was canceled by it was scheduled for tomorrow, but it's been canceled. Well, uh, myself, uh, Roth, Mr. Roth, and um, Adam Lerner, Lerner from uh, we have a a conference call at ten o'clock to bring the Board of Education through uh, Mr. Roth up to speed on how it all works and to work out the uh, notice issue so that we can have a, the next meeting shortly. Okay, but the, the meeting that was scheduled for tomorrow, I believe at like 8, eight o'clock has been right. canceled. Yes. Your call is still on. Yes. And then we're going to schedule another meeting. Well, yes, and we'll notice the public, uh, right, and it will be basically to vote on the recommendations that have been made so far so that things that were planned to be done in the spring can actually be done in the spring right yes and, and will that will that come back to this body uh only if you bring it back you have the ability to if there is we're going to send around what it is i mean i think everybody got the report uh about what the consultant saw and wants to do Oh, you didn't? I, 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 think, I think that I got it. I, okay. I, I, I didn't send it to All right. the group. Well, I think we need to do that with the, um, with the understanding of where that the spring part is and the fall part is so they can understand what's going on in the spring. And you can share it, and we want to share it on public media. That seems to be a big issue to be transparent 
what it is, and also to tell people about what we do and how it relates to our fields through Open Space Trust Fund. And uh, future discussions will be on issues concerning what should be in our own operating expenses for our fields versus things that we should be getting from the field committee and the Open Space Trust Fund. So we can, if, if you would share that document with everyone uh, on the Township Committee, the report, then, you know, we're on our way. And then uh, we just have the next to hold the meeting. And that may be in a couple of weeks. So you may have another meeting here and you can discuss it. But basically, you're on the committee, the administrators on the committee for each of the two towns and they're, they're uh, likewise people on, on the Board of Education and they actually vote on it. So, you know, on the use of the funds. Right, right. So, so I. I'll be at the meeting, and then probably by the time we get scheduled, maybe Ms. Riveros will be at the meeting. Yes. Uh, and uh, and from there, we might bring it back here. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Manning. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Desiderio. I do. I have a couple of things. First, I want to congratulate Ms. Fritzen on her 30 years. Yeah. And I congratulate all of you for having worked with Mrs. Fritzen for 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right Uh -oh. I rise, Mayor. Member of the committee. Oh, okay. Not to bury Joe Manning, but to praise oh. him. Oh. Oh. Uh, Mr. Manning has been with the township for 12 years and 10 months. He yes. confessed to me this afternoon. Uh, and I have to tell you that over that period of 12 years and 10 months, Mr. Manning and I have sat at this table for, by my count, 308 township committee meetings, plus countless meetings inside. Uh, and to his credit, uh, he did get me to laugh twice, as he admitted in the, uh, at his, uh, his party. And I would suggest to you that that's really because he's not very funny. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow. Um, that too brute? <laughs> and consistent with tonight, uh, I have had to listen to this imbecilic dribble about the, <laughs> about the farmer's market meeting after meeting after meeting, so much so that the state police contacted me that they were doing an investigation because they thought you were getting a kickback for free advertising. <laughs> they thought the pickle vendor was giving you free pickles. And I assured them that that was not the case, Joe, that in no. fact you were not doing that. You were just being conscious about what you had to do. <laughs> <laughs> During the course of our, of our almost 13 years, Joe and I have had disagreements. Uh, I remember at least on several occasions with the mayor, where the mayor called me afterwards and said, are you and Joe okay? And the truth of the matter is that I don't think Joe and I have had over those uh, 13 years one crossword with each other. We've had disagreements. We both have Italian heritage, which makes us somewhat hot-blooded at times, and that we are advocates for positions. Now, on at least two occasions, Joe was correct and I was wrong, over 13 years, too. But to his credit, he never threw him up to my face. He was always a gentleman and never brought him up. The most recent, I would say, was about the police chief, which he did tell me about from the beginning, and I fought him on that. But you were right and I was wrong. Uh, but listen, twice in 13 years is not crazy. <laughs> Wait. That's pretty good. I think he's praising himself at this point. <laughs> but, <laughs> you think? <laughs> I think you're right. In any event, uh, as a resident and a co-worker of Joe, uh, I can and I will attest uh, to Joe's honesty, integrity, dependability, and commitment to this town its res and its residents. Maplewood is a better place for Joe having been the administrator, and I'm a better attorney and a better person for having had a friend. Joe, all the best. It was a spectacular party. You were a great host, and I wish you all the best, whatever you do. And I, you know, I said to you that you maybe you were going to be a greeter at Walmart's, but I don't know if you're qualified. <laughs> In any event, Joe, all the best. Thank you. Thank you, Roger. Oh, that is great. Thank you. Anything else, Mr. Desiderio? That's all I have, Nick. Long I, well, I actually, I, I oh. just had one other quick thing. 
Uh, we did get preliminary approval of our affordable housing uh, plan by court order. Uh, we have some things we have to do, some housekeeping uh, issues. Uh, that is now listed again for September, uh, but it looks real good. And that will give us a continuing uh, repose against builders' uh, remedy lawsuits through 2025, I believe. So that's good news. Yep. Very good. Ms. Fritzen. So first, I want to uh, thank you all for your care and concern a couple of weeks back when, you know, I did a job of scaring everybody. And each one of you either texted me, called me, visited me each and every day. And that is really incredible. And I really do appreciate it. And I thank you very much for that. Um, and Roger for covering the meeting uh, on May 1st. And, uh, you know, this is really Joe's night, but I am going to thank you for surprising me with this. It's nice to be appreciated. Now who's talking about that? When, <laughs> you know, it's been 30 years and exactly 30 years as being the clerk yesterday. It's never been a job that I haven't wanted to come to work and do and, and work with various governing bodies. And um, I've just been so fortunate that I've been able to uh, come to work every day and happily come to work and enjoy what you do. And uh, as a township clerk, every day it's different. It really is. Some days you come in with the attitude that you're gonna get something done and you totally never get to that. But I find it challenging. I still find it challenging and fun. And I enjoy my interaction with the township committee and the mayor and I am here to serve you. I will say I think it's the clerk's job to make the township committee look good. And um, I really appreciate um, the recognition you're giving me tonight. And I really do love you all. Thank you. But I'm not finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever give the township clerk a baby with the mic, right? Um, Joe, I've said a lot on Friday night at your party. And um, everybody here knows I could have definitely uh, lawsuits against you for harassment. There's no question about it. But luckily I have as sick a sense of humor as you. And I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed our interaction. Um, probably you being here for 13 years has made it happy for me and a lot of employees in this building to come to work because um, we laugh at you, we laugh with you, and we also know when you're serious. And when Joe Manning's serious, um, we know it. And there are times that I will come down on my 71 steps, which has become rather famous. People are still talking about 71 steps. And I will say to people, don't even bother him today because you would be cranky. And that would be for the full day. So even I knew to stay away, but um, you know the relationship we've had, it's been, you are the man here that keeps me level-headed, my feet on the ground, although this isn't helping tonight because the chair is kind of bouncing up and down. <laughs> um, and I've learned so much from you in 13 years on how to do my job better. You've been my mentor, my advisor, um, and my friend. And you know I love you, and I'm going to miss you terribly. And I am certainly not going to cry during the speech either, because we have a bet. And um, Maplewood is definitely a better, greater community because of everything that you've done here. Thank you. Thank you. That's beautiful. Okay. We're going to move to reports from elected officials. Ms. Adams. Yes, Mayor. Um, just wanted to do a shout out for interns. If any are interested in um, landscaping, planting, anything that has to do with trees, the Memorial Park Conservancy has some interns um, who are are already ready to do really good work. Um, but anybody who's interested in that, 
needs to reach out, you can either email me or reach out to the to the township via our clerk, um, and she'll get that desire for um, internship to the Memorial Park Conservancy. They also have a Facebook page um, and website coming, so um, however you need to find it, they need some interns. Um, and that's my report, except that, you know, I have to thank Mr. Manning for just being really fun to work with and you know, I think he was a little scared when I came on because he was so like, <laughs> worried that I was being too nosy or be asking too many questions or why are you meeting with this department head? Oh, because I just want to let them know I'm interested. I want to learn. So I think he understood that after a while and uh, I'll really miss the, um, the laughs and the texts and the, I already told him I'm going to be texting him during meetings just to keep him in the loop. Um, but Thank you so much for everything you've done for Maplewood, and I will miss you like everybody else will. Thank so, Sonia has big shoes to fill. Well, sort of, so, like, you know, like short, but right, right. you know, Squat. No, different, no, no. Flat. whatever. No, different. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Deputy Mayor McGee. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, first, I want to start off by saying this is great to have you back <laughs> and congratulations on 30 years um, having you here uh, is such a comfort for all of us and something that I personally don't take for granted we make our meetings uh, seamless smooth efficient effective and most importantly professional so you know kudos to you and thank you for all you do and congratulations to your daughter thank you. <laughs> I have a couple other items that I want to discuss. Uh, this Friday, we're having our monthly open gym night at Columbia High School. Uh, it continues to be a wonderful event. Uh, this month, we're adding a dance component. So uh, anyone interested in dance, male or female, please come out. Uh, we have um, someone from Summer Action will be leading that charge. So we'll be dancing as well as playing ball and ping pong and, and doing other activities uh, at Columbia High School from 5 to 8 o'clock. Please don't hurt any more of our police officers. I was going to make a point. Thank you for mentioning. So, yeah. So, uh, as the mayor brought it up, I'd like to also, uh, you know, continue to wish Matt Jones, Officer Matt Jones, who uh, had a severe ankle sprain uh, in our last month. He's on back to recovery. It just shows you, though, that our officers that are attending these events, they're all the way in. They love interacting with our youth at the, at the expense of uh, their, some of their physical capabilities. Um, but, yeah, we try to keep it safe. As Mr. Uh, as our mayor articulated, uh, <laughs> this Saturday uh, we're having uh, our Biketopia in Maple Crest Park uh, from noon to two. Uh, it's a wonderful opportunity to get your uh, bike fixed, learn how to fix a flat tire, and just get out and enjoy uh, this spring, soon to be summer weather. Um, I also want to mention that uh, our police uh, force is doing a police youth academy. Uh, they're taking about 50 applicants for Maplewood residents uh, that are 5th, 6th, 7th, or 8th graders. Uh, the cost is $75 uh, to join the academy. Uh, and you can uh, contact Detective Stephen Giamatti at S-G-Y-I-M-O-T-Y at T-W-P dot Maplewood dot N-J dot U-S. Or phone number area code 973-762-3400, extension 7607. Also this Sunday, and I'm just going to touch on it briefly, but the mayor will talk more about it. We have our annual May Fest, um, and that is one of the greatest events we have in town. And I uh, you know, ask everyone to come out from 11 to 5 o'clock. It's a wonderful event. You get a chance to experience really the culture of Maplewood from a food and, and perspective, uh, from some of our great merchants, uh, some of the retailers there are just phenomenal. Um, also, I want to mention that YouthNet um, is going to be as part of uh, our Pride Month, and I know that one of my colleagues will probably talk more about the upcoming events. They're having a speaker uh, on June 13th at the middle school. Uh, they are embracing uh, Pride Month as they should, because it definitely impacts our youth. 
Um, they're going to also have an event in uh, mid-June, which we'll talk about at the next TC meeting called Peace, Love, and Punk, a Concert of Inclusion. So look more for that, but know that our youth net is working diligently uh, to be part of our celebration of pride. I also want to mention that our middle school, MMS, is having a school in action night this Thursday. It starts at 7 o'clock. And for those who are up and coming middle school uh, students here in Maplewood and also for current middle school parents and students, you should come out uh, and enjoy these particular festivities. Now let's see. Well, one more piece of business. Uh, myself and Mr. Daffis attended the Board of Ed meeting last night where there was a presentation of a $131 million proposal. Uh, please rest assured, public, that myself and my colleagues will be looking very diligently at this. We need additional substantial supporting data uh, before we make any decisions. It is a monumentous ask. Uh, it is very important for our town but we will take a deep and thorough look at that before we move forward uh, with any decisions at this point. Finally, I wanna take a moment to thank Mr. Manning. Joe, I've known you for three years. I've served uh, for a year and a half, just a year less than two of my colleagues. And one year more than one of my colleagues. <laughs> um, one thing can be said about the 12 years that you've been part of, 12 plus years you've been part of the TC, is that no matter who comes and sits here on the dais, you make them feel comfortable, you make them understand, and you also have an open door policy. There's no question that you're not willing to address. There's no um, issue that you're not willing to discuss, either publicly or privately. Uh, your sense of humor is spot on, by the way, I must say. Um, but you are the essence of this township committee, really are. And when you walk away at the end of this month, you should know that your blood is in these bricks. Your blood is in these bricks. And a lot of people out there don't understand, the 24,600 people do not understand the amount of effort, energy, dedication, and sacrifice that only the township committee makes, but you make as well, employer or not to make sure that Maplewood is the great place that we talk about every day and every night on, in the city and all over this great country. So I thank you, sir. I salute you, sir. I love you, sir. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Daffis. Thank you, Mayor. Mr. Manning, you're not off the hook yet. Unlike everybody else here, um, unfortunately, you and I did not get to know each other well. But judging from all of the accolades that you've received, the honors, the speeches, the congratulations, the well wishes, uh, judging from the, all the folks who came out to wish you well and to honor you at your retirement party the other night, it really says a lot about who you are. You know that you're proud of your accomplishments professionally. You ran this town for nearly 13 years. As Deputy Mayor said, your blood is in the bricks here forever. Um, but one thing that many people cannot say, those, even those who have accomplished many things, they, can, they cannot always have the humanity that you have. Your humanity, the way that you have built relationships, long-standing relationships with people everywhere. That says a lot about who you are. And um, I congratulate you. Um, I thank you for being very welcoming to me when I joined this committee, uh, very helpful to me, and I wish you all the very best in your future. Um, Ms. Fritzen, talk about welcoming. Um, the culture in a place really is, uh, it starts at the top, doesn't it? And you are professional, you mentor, you're patient, and you're incredibly, incredibly knowledgeable. Um, I can't thank you enough for helping me get up to speed in my nearly six months on the committee. You have never complained about a text or a phone call or one of the too many emails that I have sent 
what is this? Why are we doing that? What does this mean? Where can I find this, that, or the other? Uh, and that really says a lot about who you are um, and why you've been so successful. You and your office, you basically do everything for our town. And uh, I thank you very much, and I look forward to our continued collaboration. Finally, I'd like to highlight our pride planning in town. We're going to have a really great June is Pride Month coming up. Uh, the mayor and I held a meeting three weeks ago here at Town Hall. We invited the departments, of course, as well as various folks from the community and different LGBTQ advocacy groups and all kinds of folks. And since then, we received a very enthusiastic response. Uh, so Pride this year is not just going to be uh, the great Pride Fest that New Jersey Pride puts together, which is back, back this year on June 10th, Sunday, June 10th, Memorial Park. Um, but it's also going to be a little bit more comprehensive, intersectional. It's going to cover uh, all kinds of educational issues, healthcare issues, um, and it's going to be great fun for uh, all of our families. And I'm really, really proud of it, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. So look out for all those events. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Lemberg. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I want to echo everyone come out to Mayfest this Sunday, the 20th. Uh, great annual showcase for. Uh, Springfield Avenue and all of the great businesses on Springfield Avenue and also uh, an opportunity to uh, to to see each other uh, and and eat together uh, and uh, and celebrate that great neighborhood so come out on Sunday uh, hopefully we'll have good weather um, speaking of, of good weather uh, the pool is open uh, before our next Township Committee meeting, so I want to get in another plug. Uh, opening on uh, Memorial Day weekend, first day will be Saturday uh, the 26th. Uh, membership is, is still open. You can still join the pool. Uh, so come, come uh, you know, take, uh, take the family, uh, enjoy Freeman's coming back this year, uh, and enjoy the wonderful facility we have. Um, want to echo what my colleagues have said, welcoming Liz back. You did, you did give us a scare, but, uh, but we're, it's good to see you, good to see you back. Uh, and congratulations on 30 years. And also for all the hard work that, that you and uh, a number of, of the other staff here in the building did in putting together the party for Mr. Manning last Friday. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a great party. Uh, and finally, uh, Mr. Manning, uh, I echo uh, pretty much everything that the others have said tonight. Uh, not so much Mr. Desiderio, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, but the others. Um, and um, you know, and I, I know that we made these last couple of years in particular interesting, having to deal with 80% uh, turnover of the governing body uh, in the last couple of years could not have made your job any more easier. Um, but, but you have handled it with the same, uh, same professionalism uh, and dedication that, that we've, uh, so many came out to celebrate uh, on Friday night. Um, and one other thing that I would just uh, mention, uh, you know, is, is I talk to people who do various public jobs, whether it be teachers, police officers, uh, township employees, and uh, most are, you know, actually say they specifically don't want to work in the town where they live, and and vice versa. Uh, and I think you know one of the one of the things that really shined through about you uh, was your your ability to do that, to bring the passion of being a resident, uh, while also uh, not letting um, your personal opinions. Uh, affect the way that, that you did the business for the township, the way that you, uh, you would advise the township committee, but when the township committee made a decision, uh, even though sometimes those decisions might be affecting you personally as a resident in a way that you didn't like, uh, you at least, uh, you kept it to yourself. So, um, 
So, you know, I really uh, do appreciate uh, all that you've done for, for Maplewood as, as a resident, uh, as an employee, uh, and uh, as the person who, who day to day has run this town for the last 13 years. And, uh, you know, while it's often the, the elected officials up here and those who've come before who, uh, who, who get the credit in the media for uh, the good things that happen uh, here in town hall, we know that uh, it's uh, the township administrator uh, and the department heads uh, that really make that happen day to day. And thank you for, for making us uh, and, uh, and my colleagues here and our predecessors uh, look really good and our town really proud for the last 12 years and 10 months. I wish you luck. Thank you, sir. And Mr. Mayor, that is my report. Thank you. Uh, okay, just a few things. Um, just want to remind people we have the quality march on June 3rd because we won't be meeting before then. That's right. I so, was going to come back and remind. Why don't you do that? Yes, we're going to kick off Pride with the equality march on June 3rd. Um, we will assemble at Rickleton Park at 1 p.m. and uh, walk down Maplewood Avenue crossing on Baker and end up at Town Hall for speeches and stuff. So it's going to be a great equality march. We did it last year. We're doing it again this year. And we hope that uh, everyone will come out. What time? At 1 o'clock. Thank you. Thank you. Um, just also sticking with that day at 4 p.m., there's going to be a um, sensible gun uh, regulation rally uh, as part of every town. Um, and it's going to be in South Orange. And we'll have more information as we go forward. But that'll be a busy day. Today, we didn't mention this, but I believe today is the leaf blower prohibition day. Is that yes, right? It is. And when I saw those, the heavens open up, I thought for sure it was to <laughs> cleanse all those leaf blower debris away. So we're starting fresh. Today. It's a silence that I think you appreciate. Yeah, it was great. It was great. So uh, leaf blower prohibition starts today, May 15th, and goes until... When does it go to? September 30th. September 30th. So uh, we'll have a quiet summer. Um, a couple things. Ms. Fenton, 30 years, man, you must have started when you were a teenager. Yeah. <laughs> so congratulations. And um, as I said to you today, you know, this is the beginning of the next 30. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Um, this, for, this Saturday, we have talked to the Township Committee. We're going to be at the Jacoby Street Bank of America. We normally go from 9 to 12, but we'll have to condense it 9 to 11. At 11 a.m., there is a flag raising for Haitian Independence Day at the uh, Hilton Branch of the Maplewood Library. Uh, in addition to the other, the Biketopia and the stuff with Soma Action, there's also a ribbon cutting Saturday at uh, CB. BCB Bank. Yeah. And I will get the exact time, but the I believe the, the party is from 2 to 6. And I'll get the exact time on the ribbon cutting. Another party at BCB. Another party at BCB. <laughs> um, so we'll, we will uh, get that information out to you. Uh, in keeping with uh, Prime Month, we expect a ruling this month on or May or early June on the Masterpiece Cake Shop uh, U.S. Supreme Court case in which we have joined and I have joined as the mayor and we have joined as the Township Committee as a friend of the court uh, where there's a briefing tomorrow by phone to give us sort of an update of what's going on and we'll share whatever information we might have. Uh, Ms. Fritzen, we've gotten a request to uh, again proclaim June Men's Health Month, and so I will give this to you. We, we can do that again for uh, in June. Uh, last night we had a very productive uh, steering committee meeting of the local pedestrian planning assistance, and this is looking at Prospect Street and Burnett Avenue. Uh, we went over the recommendations. I've sent you all those recommendations. There's a quite uh, some of them are quite dramatic, the recommendations. We, uh, we have worked out uh, 
that the consultants will be at Mayfest with their boards. Oh, and so people will be able to come up and take a look at these boards and they're gonna have some kind of feedback form. Uh, so what people might want to, uh, to uh, talk about. So we will, we will see them uh, at Mayfest. Uh, we are a member of We Are Still In. This is the, uh, the Paris Climate Agreement. They're moving now to We Are Taking Action and they're going to be uh, opening their, I guess their website for local municipalities to, uh, or for municipalities to put up what, what we're doing as a contribution for climate change. So as part of our sustainability committee, we'll identify things that we can do, uh, we can post up there to let everyone know what we're doing here in Maplewood uh, as part of the effort to uh, tackle climate change. Uh, just want to mention, I got a call today from our uh, village consultant, the Department of Community Affairs. We tentatively had set a meeting for June 4th to do a, a stakeholder meeting on working on the visioning for the village. Uh, he has been assigned to do some work uh, by his department leaders there. And so we're going to be re pushing that back to July. So I will get that information out to everyone. Uh, but we had a very productive meeting uh, of our smaller planning group, and uh, I think we'll be, we'll be generating a lot of good ideas and thoughts about the future of the village. So, um, Mr. Manning, just want to ask, before you put any blood in these bricks, did you get, did you get approval from the Historic Preservation Commission? <laughs> It's more like a paper cut in my office. Actually. Oh, okay. There you go. Because you know you can't be doing it yes, without right, right. prudence. And Shippo and everybody else. So, um, you know, I, it's funny. You, you, I only know Mr. Manning too well. I, we've crossed paths 40 years ago in Newark. That's right. Uh, when Mr. Manning was working with uh, Recycling Inc. And Don Bernard, our yes. friend Don. And then... Um, and engineering with Al, right? Right. Okay. Um, so we've uh, we've run over, you know, through different um, different paths across over, right? various yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. And it was great to see you come here to Maplewood in 2005. Uh, and I I did the same thing that uh, Mr. Desiderio did. I figured you were somewhere around 300 regular and special meetings of the Township Committee, and I guess you really enjoy it. Uh, you've done about a dozen municipal budgets and just so many other um, meetings and, and sessions you've been to. It's just been incredible. But there's one thing that probably you alone hold the distinction of, and that is, um, you know, during one of our worst natural disasters that ever hit us, uh, Hurricane Sandy, we were devastated in this town. <clears throat> and Mr. Manning, I can I can pretty much say, is the only emergency management coordinator in the entire state of New Jersey that was kicked out of a senior citizen meeting during the emergency because of his behavior. <laughs> <laughs> is it true? Yeah. Yes. Yes. We went to Winchester Gardens. I think it said it enough. You know what I mean? Yeah. Four four as usual, Ray, uh, he, he took off a few people there. And, uh, <laughs> it's cold. And so you, yeah, 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 it's cold. It's cold. Okay. And, I knew it. <laughs> and Joe was just he, just, he just turned on that sensitive charm that we all know you have somewhere. Uh, but yeah, you. I think that could go down in the in the state yeah, police annals. Yes. Um, but seriously, you played uh, fairly. You treated everyone fairly. Uh, you asked tough questions. And one good thing about this town and and your predecessors too, uh, you never played politics. You you didn't get involved politically. Uh, you made decisions based on what was right for the town, uh, what was best. Um, and and you, you always tried to drive us to solutions, and I thought that was important to do. Uh, you're, as, as others have said, you're an ultimate professional. You, you care deeply about Maplewood. You care deeply about the people you work with. And, you know, we heard it the other night, the comments people made and talking about family first and, 
doing what, you know, telling people they do need to do what they have to do, take care of themselves and things like that. And you also not, you know, haven't been afraid to pitch in. I remember hauling tables with you on Springfield oh. Avenue and setting up chairs for meetings and you running around and getting food for meetings. You, you, you got your hands dirty. And I think as a leader, that's important that you show people um, that you can do that work and you lead by example. Um, we're gonna, certainly going to miss you. We're definitely going to miss your weird sense of humor. Uh, I'm not sure uh, anybody's going to be able to uh, um, to talk about the, the kinds of things and get away, as I said the other night, get away with some of the things that you say, because uh, I'm sure there's, there's a long list of people with harassment charges. Um, <laughs> So, you know, goodbyes are always tough. You've been here a long time, and we, we talked a little bit about you realizing that you don't live here anymore. You've moved, and it's just a tough feeling. And, and in a few weeks, your office is not going to be here anymore. Um, but it's, it's also an opportunity to reflect. I think you've reflected, and we've talked a little bit about the transition of being retired, and, um, and it's for us to reflect. And, and the good thing is you want to hear this stuff when you're alive, and, and this, is, this is about you. This is about Joseph Manning and how much you heard from all of us, how much we appreciate what you've done, how you have made a difference in people's lives. And that's, that's what it's about. You know, when, when right. I mean, probably after Woodstock, you tried to figure out what you wanted to do in life. And um, to be able to say that you made such a, a positive difference in, in so many, so many lives is is just um, something you're always going to have to be part of you. So we thank you for your years with us, um, and and we wish you happiness. You know that's the thing. You're going to leave here being happy. You're leaving on your terms. You're going to smile walking out of here. You're going to have fond recollections of working here. And that's what it is. Be happy as you do enter your next stage of life. So thank you for everything you do, and Godspeed going forward. Thank you very that's much. That's true. Right. Thank you. Thank you. So with that, I have one thing, actually. Yes. I, forgot. I just saw my notes. Um, always check your notes, right? So, our youth in Maplewood and South Orange, they're going to be recognized down in Trenton on March 24th. They've been invited by March. Assembly, I March. mean, May 24th, right? It's May, not March, um, the other M month. Uh, May 24th, they're going to be recognized uh, in Trenton. They've been invited by Assemblywoman JC and Assemblyman McKeon for their leadership in the March for Our Lives uh, movement. And I'm going to be going down there with the, with a few of them, and I will report back. Uh, we're really grateful for our youth in our town. And uh, this is just another example of that. Great. Thank you very much. Can we get a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, our next meeting is at the Police and Courts Building? No. Here? No. It's usually the second meeting. Our okay. next meeting, uh, Mayor, is right here. Ten. We move at the second That's meeting. Right. Our June. next meeting is uh, June 6th. It's a Wednesday because right of uh, the primary on the 5th. Right here. So we're meeting here. Yes. Okay. While you're up.